Cascade Bay, once again, the site of what environmentalists are calling a pollution nightmare. That's right, a day filled with rain on Friday combined with a runoff from a nearby construction site is causing the problem. Local 10's Bridget Matter tells us about the growing concerns. If you live off the shores of Biscayne Bay, you know this all too common sight, and it's killing the bay. That cloudy discharge you see spewing into the bay, those are silt plumes, sediment runoff from the construction site of Miami's new signature bridge. Every time it rains, all the unsecured construction debris and dust mix with the storm water. That then flows into the bay, adding to the pollution load, further putting these waters and all its marine life at risk. That settles on corals and seagrasses and it kills them. And that's the food for manatees. That's the oxygen for our water. That can help lead to fish kills, which is not a good thing. The Signature Bridge project is part of a more than $800 million design build project by the Florida Department of Transportation and the Miami-Dade Expressway Authority. In early September, Local 10 showed you these silt plumes in the bay. And the city issued citations to three FDOT locations for pollution caused by construction sites. City of Miami Commissioner Ken Russell says last week a resolution was passed by City Commission allowing the city attorney to file suit against FDOT and their contractors. This is now the fourth, fifth time we've seen it happen. We've cited them before, we've given them notice of violation before. Today, Russell says he met with FDOT, who explained mitigation efforts already in place, including berms to hold polluted water in place and prevent it from making it into the bay. He says FDOT tells him even more will be done in the coming days. Derm has been inspecting daily and will continue to do so. We also reached out to FDOT, but they're closed, so we'll likely hear from them on Monday. In Miami, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.